A kidnapper has been arrested in the attempt of a kidnapping on Sonia Deville. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the General Jerry channel. Uh, so yeah, um, this is only breaking news. I'd like to thank Trap Queen Brittany, the old traps are there. I'd like to thank her for providing this news. Um, a man has been arrested on kidnapping charges outside of the home of Sonia Deville. Um, she's safe. So, uh, that's all good. Um, so just let you know about that. Philip A. Thomas II, who is 24 from South Carolina, was arrested outside the home of Sonia Deville early Sunday morning, according to the Tampa Bay Times. He's charged with abrogating, uh, abrogated stalking, home burglary and dwelling, attempted armed kidnapping and criminal mischief. Thomas has been held without bail, according to the police. Thomas has begun planning the abduction eight months ago, early Sunday morning. He waited on the property for four, for three to four hours, where he cut a hole in the uh, patio screen to listen and watch until the homeowner went to bed. Uh, he then entered through a sliding glass and door with, uh, with which the uh, activated an alarm. Police said Thomas was spotted by the homeowner who left with the guest in a car and also called 911. The report continued that Thomas was still in the property when the police arrived and was carrying a knife, plastic zip ties, duct tape, mace and other items. Jesus Christ. And told deputies he was planning to take the homeowner hostage. Um, our deputies have unveiled the suspect's uh, disturbing obsession with his with this homeowner, who he has never met but stalked on social media for many years. Um, Chief Chad uh, said uh, the news release he's frightened and is thinking of all the ways the incident could have played out had the home alarm not gone off and alerted the homeowner of the abductor. Yes, absolutely. Make sure you have a fucking alarm in your house here, folks. Um, so, uh, this is something that unfortunately has been going on in the wrestling industry. We are seeing, um, essentially a surge of stalking and amongst the wrestling community. This has been going on. I remember the guy who got shot outside the WWE department as well. This type of stuff does happen. And unfortunately, there is a small fraction of the wrestling community that are just completely obsessive over these women um, and it's disgusting. It really is. It's absolutely disgusting. And quite frankly, I can't believe that this type of thing has happened. I, I honestly have absolutely no idea. And, um, I, I, I honestly thank God she's safe. That's the main thing. But this is just, like, disturbing on another level. Like, the fact that this guy actually planned for eight months to do this and um you know the lesson of the day here folks is always have an alarm in your house um always have that because you never know what type of goddamn psycho is gonna enter your house i remember there was um an incident with um meg turney who was a cosplayer um and she was like an online personality and her and her boyfriend were in the house and a guy came in with a gun and was like walking around they had to stay and in, in like they went to like i think it was like the closet and he wasn't there and then they silently called 911 and eventually the guy got like i think he got shot and he got killed at the end i could be wrong about that but something happened to him and meg turney was safe in regards to that but this type of obsession we're seeing um, and, and again, this is a, a small percentage of men, but we are seeing a lot of, like, obsessive men that, you know, where they see women on WWE, they're just completely obsessive. I mean, if you go to, like, an Alexa Bliss, or you go to a Paige, or you go to any of these wrestling forums, it's all these people, like, you know, that on a surface might seem harmless, but there's a small percentage of these people that take it a step further. And that's a major problem with today, um, where it's an obsession, um, whether it be online or whatever the fuck it might be. I, I just think that this is just a sick a thing. The guy, like, and he looks like a fucking stalker as well, the absolute asshole. Um, like, he just looks like one of those weird fucking kids as well, too. 
fucking little weasel. Um, hopefully he never gets out of jail. Hopefully he gets locked up. And don't drop drop the soap, you little bastard. Um, anyway, guys, um, that's the news uh, for today. Kind of a little... Um, throwing out a little bit of news video there. Uh, this is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel signing out. Again, shout out to Trap Queen for providing this news.